Nice Bronco, Isaac. <laughs> Thanks, Kaden. You remember the adventure we had getting this thing, how big of a pain in the butt that was? Yeah. <laughs> it was worth it, though. Beautiful Bronco. You got to see this, though. What is it? A little surprise. Traxxas' is new TRX4 Sunset Bronco. I'm so excited. So back in November at the SEMA show in Las Vegas, Traxxas announces this TRX4 Bronco. And when I first saw it, I thought to myself, I have to have one. <laughs> in fact, I emailed Traxxas and I asked them over and over again, when are you gonna release this thing? Because I wanna be the first one to have one. Not a lot of people know this about me, but I am a sucker for Broncos. It's, uh, it's the car that my wife and I dated in. I think they have a lot of character and they're just kind of a one of a kind. And I had to have this thing when I saw it. So we're just gonna unbox this thing and I'm gonna see it in person for the first time and see how it is. Here we go. Switch it down. The new Traxxas radios. Ugh. Stuck in there. Whoa, why are we stuck? There we go. That's fine. Pretty cool. I'm coming from the era of the Team Axes and the Nitro Revos. I, the last RC truck I bought was I think 2014, whenever they first announced the Traxxas Revo 2.5. That, that is sweet. <laughs> Check this out. I have not made the switch to electric till just now. And uh, this thing is cool. Let's see, we got a little pin here. Pick it up. Oh. Oh, another pin here. There we go. Oh. Don't flex that body. A lot of stuff glued onto it. Look at that. That is cool. I'm gonna take that front off. Ford. Some of the first things you, that pop out when you open this hood, this chrome and the bumper and the mirrors, they're trim. That's not, well, it's plastic, chrome plastic, but it's not all one piece. I really like the sunset versus the other option they had the red and black one because it gives it a little more of a bronco characteristic to it right here it kind of shows it separates the rest of the body with the removable shell which the black and red one was all red and the black up here it didn't give it much character on the top Let's see. <laughs> this thing is sweet look at this chrome bumpers I think I found another money pit. <laughs> I'm gonna dump as much money into this thing as my real Bronco. <laughs> Very cool. Like I say, this is my first electric one. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I understand it's not an R2R or ready to run. So I had to buy a new battery and all new charging setup. I've already charged the battery, but uh, let's see if we can put this together. So here it is all put together. This, this truck is actually really nice. I like all the fender wells that they do, they have. I like the chrome racing wheels, kind of matches my Bronco. Um, the chrome trim, the chrome bumper. I mean, it's, I like how scale it is, it's even the lift and the steering rods and everything. Traxxas has done a, a kind of a gear reduction drop down right here on the axles just to give it more clearance underneath the truck. That's cool. 
<laughs> My wife thinks I'm ridiculous. She's right. <laughs> <laughs> so far, first impressions, I'm really impressed with the truck. I like it. I think there's two things they could have done to make it better. One, make it red and white, like my third generation, like my 84. And they need a spare tire rack. Maybe that's something we could do. Let's go play with it. like a race truck like a Revo or a T-Max but it's a rock crawler man this Bronco handles the snow like a champ it's a lot of fun to play out there but because of the snow we're kind of limited in where we can ride it so we decided we're going to make the coolest indoor obstacle course if you'd like to see some more rock crawling action with this Bronco, click the link above. And thanks for watching.